Alleluia Ministries International is a Bible-believing and Christ-centered church. We believe Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. His power is still at work in the church today, just as it was in the time of the Bible. We are AMI. You see, the attitude you have when you stand in the presence of God is uh, of faith. The attitude of faith is the only attitude that will manifest your miracles. Amen. God has set it, so shall it be. You must know this. God is faithful. He keeps his word. Look at somebody say, God is faithful. God is faithful. He keeps his word. He keeps his word. Everything God says, you can believe it and it will happen. I will there there are two things that happen when miracles or you relate to miracles. The first thing in the ministry of the Holy Ghost, the ministry of demonstration, miracle happens instantly. Yes. I will instantly. That's the first thing. The first thing is miracle happen instantly. Now, the second thing is the miracle that God gives you takes a process to manifest. Amen. The two things in the ministry of power you will experience. Every one of us. There are two things in the ministry of power, ministry of the spirit, when it comes to miracles. And above, we will experience and we are already experiencing. Instant miracles simply means a miracle that happened and manifest instantly. You know, the Bible speaks of immediately he was made well. Immediately. Immediately means at that very time, in that very moment. Now, the second side is miracles that are given already when you pray, but they take a process to manifest. So once that miracle comes in your life, you need now to water it. You water it by doing the same thing you did to receive it. You don't depart from what you began to do for that miracle to come to you. You wait for it. Yeah. I'll give you an example. There are times when you sow a seed. If you are a farmer, the seed is right there. But you have to keep on watering the seed. The seed is the tree. The tree has the fruit. But all that is still in the seed. So the process has to run. If you will abort the mission, meaning your responsibility of watering that seed to germinate and become a plant, a tree that will bear fruit, you would have aborted everything. Now, I've seen in all of us, there are areas you can testify that as you begin to pray, God manifested. Yeah, that's right. Every one of us has that area. You just pray. Some of you, is not even directly to you. You pray for others, it happens. When you just begin to pray, you lift your hand, you say, Oh Lord Jesus, bam, a miracle happens. <laughs> Every one of us will experience in the Holy Ghost what is known as instant miracles. I receive it. Hear me. It happens in a shocking way. In a shocking way. I you will call your AMI 12 leader and say, Can this be God? Somebody just proposed. I Sh should I say yes or no? You see, you've been hunting for a job. Wait for a job to hunt for you. Somebody received. Instant miracle. 
She came to church. She could not walk. They had to carry her. How uncomfortable can that be? Bad cancer. Not as there is a good cancer, but bad cancer. But boom, she's running. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. It's called instant miracle. miracle. Someone whose eyes have been rooted out. The remaining one is uh, affected. She cannot see. Boom. The eyes open. Glory hey. to Jesus. That's my God. It's called instant miracle. So all of us in a certain area of our lives, we experience instant miracles. There might be one area where your miracle requires your faith for its manifestation. It sometimes is by design. There might be one area. Everything you receive, this area you have received, but you need to water it. Let me tell you, when you find that area, you must always know that the assignment in what God want to do in that area is so big. My goodness. My God. It's so big that it requires you to be patient. Yeah. I'm a farmer. I love farming. You didn't know that? Huh? Now you know. <laughs> I love trees and forests and waters and all those type of things. I was sitting with uh, some of the farmers who work with me. And they were telling me all kinds of things in the presentation of the plants that we can have in one of the farm. And I said, this one, two years, you have a grown tree. This other one is very good. It's very, very good. And they all talking about that. And I said, the seed or the, the little plant of that from the nursery. It's very expensive. But it is good. I love what is good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So they're emphasizing, this one is very good. I say, okay, you're telling me about this. We can have a harvest this year and this other year for this. What about the one you're telling me? It's very good and it's very rare. They say, men of God, this is good. Your children will reap. I say, my children, meaning what? They say, this one takes 35 years to grow. I say, Jesus. <laughs> How can a tree take 35 years? They courage ahead for those ones. I say, okay. And the other one? <laughs> but yet... The best of the trees that proposed that day was that one. Though it takes long. So you, you plant it today, you're thinking of your children. Now this is an extreme to tell you, sometimes you got to wait for the process of what God said to manifest. I am believing God for two things. I am believing God for an instant new miracle to happen to somebody I now. It. I receive it now. If you have faith, you will receive something now. Something you didn't come it. with. You didn't come with it. You are getting it now. I receive it. You are online, I'm saying, something you did not have before now. You are about to receive in the name of Jesus. I receive it. The second thing I'm praying for is that which God did already. Yes. That you have been waiting for its manifestation. Amen. That it is anointing. The manifestation may be right in front of you. May it be so. 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 In the name of Jesus. Lift your hand. 
Say, Lord, Lord do it for me. Do it for me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The Bible says that David was selected by God. And that is found in the book of Acts 13, verse 22. The words say, and when he had removed him, this is the story of Israel. The first king was removed, his name was so. God has established a new one. He raised up for them David as king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will do my will. This is a testimony of God. The Holy God, the one who's known three times holy, 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 and is giving a testimony for a man who was prone to many limitations and weaknesses. He said, I have found a man after my own heart. May I please submit to you that God has his own people. I receive it. We may have all been created by God and loved by God, but his choice toward each one of us is not the same. Since it is established that God can only reach men through men, manifest in creation through men, he has selected his own for specific assignment. And this is not to set aside a little group of people as extraordinary, but it's to say that for all of us under the sound of my voice, the choice of God is linked to a specific mission. There are certain things that God decided to do only through you. He has found you and he has, God, equipped you for something specific. Never look at yourself in the eyes of your now, your current, your difficulties. Never conclude your life based on the people around you and their opinions of you. Keep on seeing yourself through the eyes of God. For he is the one who created you. He knows you better than anybody. Amen. You are bigger than the physical address where you live in now. I was... You are more valuable than the clothes you are wearing and the doors in your wardrobe. I receive it. It doesn't matter what you eat in your diet. God has bestowed greatness in you that is far above what you eat on a daily basis. I you are the choice of God. Thank you, Jesus. He has chosen you to rule. I pray, may you rule in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive it. To rule means that you are above, you lead, you move and follow. Sickness cannot be above you. Disease cannot be above you. Jesus. Son of God, there is a price paid for you. You are bigger than you know. There is no mirror on earth that can reflect the true investment of God in you. Whenever you look at yourself in a mirror, just know what you are seeing is the lowest form of who you are. You are bigger than what eyes can see. Amen. David was a man with many shortfalls, but God qualified him. Oftentimes, we are hard on ourselves. We have set goals and we find ourselves falling and falling and falling. And before anybody points fingers at us, we disqualify ourselves. I pray that this may not be your portion. In Jesus name. That in the name of Jesus Christ, that you may understand that you are bigger than what you see. I receive. Seven times my righteous shall fall. Yes. 
seven times he shall stand. Somebody once say, fall seven times, stand up eight times. I prophesy, you will arise above the storm. I receive it. I say you will arise above the storm. I receive it. You are God's greatest investment. I receive What has pulled others down will not pull you down because name. you are born for times such as this. I receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. It cannot, it cannot be. be otherwise. But my precious in the Lord, beyond the shortfalls and the difficulties that we see with this man, David, we can count how many times David had missed the point and has fallen. But there are qualities in him that we see throughout these qualities are an indication of the nature he had in God. Oh, you see, people, as soon as you do one wrong, they forget all the ten good you did. That's right. They bite the very hand that has been feeding them for years. And this is one of the things that causes many to bleed. You have gone all out for people. You have done whatever you could for them. But when it came to them, the level of impatience, intolerance, and anger towards you keeps you wondering. My precious in the Lord, men are men. People are people. Keep your eyes on God. Amen. Not everything about the one who has missed a point is wrong. If you will throw down your brother simply because of a moment, a second. If as a little, you will turn your back on somebody simply because he has not been found to meet expectations. You have done wrong. God will not throw his own. Making a mistake does not make you a mistake. Amen. You are not a mistake. I receive it. It is true that the mistake has been repeatedly done. But still, you are not a mistake. I see you coming out of it. I receive it. I see this mess turning into a message I receive it you will be the one telling people how to stand how to win how to overcome because you have been there I've been moved you will say I've been taken down I've been rejected I missed the point but I'm here standing to tell you the Lord God who saw me through he will see you through the Lord God who pulled me out will pull you out Jesus name because this is the word of God the Bible asks, who are you to just someone else's servants? Right. If he falls or he stands. But here it is. He will stand because his master has the power to make him stand. Glory to Jesus. What you had experienced was just a setback. Mm. But it's not forever. Right. For out of the setback, there is a comeback. I receive it. And I'm prophesying your comeback. I receive. I am prophesying your comeback. I receive it. Hear me. Speak the word of God over you. The second glory will be greater than the former. I receive. The second glory will be greater than the former. This time, you will go further. This time, you will do more. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. If one marriage did not succeed and you tried all, 
Don't hang yourself. Don't. You pray. You adjusted. You even compromised. And it did not work. Look to Jesus. Hallelujah. He's the author. He's the finisher. Jesus. Of our faith. Amen. You are in a relationship. No matter what you do, you are just the bad one. Mm -hmm. Toxic. No matter what you do. It's like there is a gift of finding you guilty. You may have 95% good. 5% is the talk of the day. The devil is a liar. Yes. There is good in you. I was Somebody say there is still good in me. There is still good in me. Please be seated. Though David had fallen many times, but we see in him the qualities of a man who was with God. One, David was a worshiper. In the book of Psalm 34, verse 1 to 3, the Bible says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make it boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. This man that was prone to many mistakes was a worshiper. When he came to worship God, he was no longer a king. He was just a worshiper. When he came into giving God glory, he forgot his title. He forgot that he was the ruler of the place. He just worshiped God. The time is coming. And now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For such are the worshipers that the Father seeks. Yes. Oh, God is not after your voice. is mm -hmm. after your worship. Your talent is good. But what moves God is not your talent. Is your worship heart. Hallelujah. God is looking for worshipers. Even with a rocky voice, worship Him. Amen. Even... If they will say you are out of tune, I will worship you. Hallelujah. David was a worshiper. David knew how to give him glory. He said, I will bless the Lord on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday, at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Continually meaning it will not stop. Every time you see me, I will praise God. Even when the enemy is pulling me down, I will praise God. In the time of pain, I will praise God. When everything turns sour, I will praise God. I will speak the virtues of God. I will tell the world that he is a faithful God. He is an awesome God. He's a restorer. He's a rescuer. He's my savior. I will bless his name. I will lift his name. I will praise him. I will worship him. Yes. Not only did David was a worshiper, he was humble. And he placed God first in everything. Be sure to tune in next time for the continuation of this preaching. This David fits the picture of a womanizer.
David was one with a funny character. As the ark of God was being carried, the king who defeated Goliath, the only man who carried the true oil, the man in Israel, danced. He danced so much so that the daughter of the former king, who was his wife, or one of his wives, came to say, I was observing how you embarrassed yourself, Dancy, in the sight of the mad servant of your subject. You see, when you are in the presence of God, forget your titles. You can't dance so civilized, so good, so aware of your heels, your hair, your nails, your suit. You're too big in the house of God. Humble yourself under his mighty hand. He will exalt you in due time. David relied on God. God finds pleasure on those who put him first, who rely on him. David fought for God. When he came to David, as far as he was concerned, play with anything, don't play with my God. Yes. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Avlok Howe on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Avlok Howe on all social media platforms at Avlok Howe.